Hey guys, Ryan from Motorcycle.com here in uh, the California desert testing the 2021 Ducati Multistrada V4S and uh, it's been a blast. And I'm not, I don't want to get too far in the weeds about technical uh, details and spec sheet kind of stuff because you guys can check out the story on the website. Um, but I do want to kind of talk about what it was like to ride this thing today. Uh, we got a chance to ride a half day off road and a half day on road and it's, uh, it's a pretty incredible motorcycle. It's exhilarating to say the least. So we started off off-road and uh, you know, a little ways up into the mountains, got off-road, hit it into enduro mode, which uh, cuts the ABS on the rear wheel, keeps it on the front, and then you have a lot of adjustments that you can do as far as wheelie control and trash control and stuff like that. So we took off down kind of a sandy, uh, sandy road and the traction control in setting one was kind of a, a it surprised me to the point where I thought I might have left it in a road mode. Um, traction control and setting one really cuts power to the rear wheel. Uh, and in sandier conditions, it's really not what you want because it's going to start cutting it even more. So a little ways down the trail, I was able to stop, turn off traction control and start riding it, which I was a little nervous about, honestly, because I hadn't ridden anything with this engine before. Yeah, so turning off traction control on, you know, a big V4 engine and a 536-pound motorcycle is... Uh, you know, you never know how this is going to go. 170 horsepower off-road. Uh, enduro mode does cut it down to 100, but still cutting that off, I was like, you know what, I'm going to have to manage because traction control and setting one wasn't really working out for what I wanted to do. And uh, what I found out with this new motor, with the changes that they've done to this, to the V4 from, you know, the sport bike and the street fighter, it has made the motor so tractable off-road. And I think anyone with a little bit of experience off-road will really appreciate that and just being able to really modulate the way the bike puts power to the ground uh, just with a throttle like we all used to. And the nice thing about uh, the traction control settings, I, I do think that, you know, maybe they should change uh, how intrusive it is on one. Like I would say, I thought maybe it would have been like four or something. That's kind of how intrusive I felt it was. Um, but I think if you were to change those up a little bit, it still provides a nice safety net for people who are gonna ride this thing 80% on road and just rail it through the canyons, and but they still want to be able to go check out the odd fire road. Um, I think it's going to be a great safety net. I would like to see a little bit bigger gaps. Um, I was talking to one of the other editors here who tested it out, uh, cranked up the traction control to six when we were kind of in the same area, and he said it was almost uh, unrideable in some of the scenarios. So traction control is maybe the one place that I would ding the bike. Uh, I'm not going to ding it because it doesn't bother me because I like the way it feels off. You know, if you have any experience, just turn it off and enjoy how the motor makes power. And it doesn't spin up crazy. In off-road mode, it has a nice soft delivery of power off the bottom. And then it, you know, it, it can get you in trouble really quick if you stay on it. Uh, obviously, it's still a big adventure bike. But off-road, the thing is pretty forgiving. You can dial it in if you want, you know, dial it back, really. but. Standing on the bike, ergonomics were perfect for me. Uh, at 5'8", I heard some of the other guys that do a little bit more off-road stuff or some of the taller guys, maybe they'd want to raise the bars a little bit. But for me, it, it felt really good. And uh, stand over, it's really narrow at the front of the seat. So that felt good. Suspension-wise, uh, it's it doesn't have a ton of suspension travel. We're talking around like seven uh, front and rear. It does a good job at, at uh, bottoming resistance. Like we still jumped the thing a couple times today and we still, you know, hit some kind of G outs and whatnot while we were going and it did a good job. I mean, I'm being careful because when we're talking about this bike, we're talking about at the low end, 20 grand, but we were out on the Multistrada V4S uh, today and that's kind of the middle of the range. And later after lunch, we got out and uh, got on bikes that had more streetable tires on them. And although the Scorpion rallies uh, that were fitted on the bikes that we were riding off road uh, did a really great job, like a really, really like almost foot peg dragging job of uh, grip on the street. It's just the V4 engine, it's pretty incredible. The mid range and for me riding the 1260, when I last rode that, I, I felt like there was kind of lurchy, the fueling wasn't great off the bottom. And it was kind of, you know, it, it kind of had some issues, especially when the roads got tighter, you know, you constantly feel the thing kind of jerking back and forth. And it's like night and day. This new V4 motor is so smooth and it's still got a lot of character to it. I mean, and when it's idling, 
it almost because of the, the way it fires it almost still sounds like the ducati v-twin but once you're on it it sounds like something completely different and you know keeping that thing up to the red line out here in canyon roads is an absolute blast you've got brembo stylema brakes on these um, so you have excellent stopping power the Pirellis that we had on the street did an excellent job. And I've I said this about the previous 1260, but this V4, again, it just blows my mind how well a bike this big handles. It's so light, so easy to flip back and forth in the canyons. Even tiptoeing around, it doesn't feel bad. You know, even moving around the parking lot, it doesn't feel that bad. And, you know, they claim 536 pounds. We haven't weighed one yet. So, you know, hopefully we get up the opportunity to, to have one at home and we get to do a little bit more testing. But that's what the claim is. And then as far as the electronics package, you know, it was substantial on the 1260 and it's just gotten even better. And what's really unique about the uh, new Multistrada V4 is the radar system. So now you have the opportunity for adaptive cruise control, just like in a lot of cars these days, maybe in your car. You can set that and then it'll keep uh, the distance you have four distances that you can change on the bike to how close you're following the vehicle in front of you and so then you can set your cruise at 80 you know you're on the freeway traffic slows down a little bit whatever and it'll kind of adjust with you so that's a good feature to have um, I love using it in the car so I can kind of you know stop paying attention to traffic a little bit on a motorcycle obviously some people aren't as into that but um, it's more of a kind of the thing like on a long ride it's it's going to be great for touring which is what this bike is meant for and you also get blind spot monitoring so there's a radar in the rear as well um, so you've got two lights on the mirrors that'll flash or uh, that'll light up when someone's coming up behind you and then also if you turn your turn signal on and someone's coming up behind you it'll start flashing at you it'll really let you know hey there's something coming on your left side or whatever it might be um, so that's a really cool feature that we haven't seen before. Uh, Ducati's got, I think, four apps. Hopefully they can get that consolidated into one um, to make things a little easier, but they work really well with the bike. Uh, this new Multi also has a little container for your phone on the gas tank, and it has it's powered, so you can plug your phone in there. And then you can kind of do everything from the screen. And it's a big 6.5 inch TFT display. There's a lot of information on that. So like if you're just looking at the bike, uh, you know, and you're new to kind of all that technology, it can look daunting, but there have been plenty other motorcycles that I've gotten onto. And because of what I do and ride all sorts of different motorcycles from different manufacturers, I do find that there's a ton of information and a lot of cool stuff that you can tailor to the way you want to ride include all of those ride modes you can kind of set them up any way you want and then the name enduro sport whatever might not be what you actually set it up as but you can you can adjust everything to the way you want it and after you have the bike it's a little, it's really intuitive it, it it's never taken me long on this bike to kind of figure out how to adjust stuff and uh, that's definitely the case with the new multi v4 so we have Richard Kenton here, technical director, Ducati North America. Uh, wanted to talk with you guys a little bit about what they did to the V4 motor in the new Multistrada. You know, they couldn't just plop in the Panigale motor. So there are a lot of changes that happened that, to make this a touring motor and still be just as exciting as any Panigale. So uh, Richard, why don't you kind of walk us through some of that? Yeah, thanks Ryan and thanks for joining us Absolutely. today. Uh, with the Panigale, we had the V4 Stradale with the Multistrada, we've gone with the V4 Gran Turismo. And what we were able to do was bore out the motor. We increased the bore from the Penegali's 81 millimeter bore to the 83 millimeter bore on the Multistrada. We were also able to uh, change some of the fundamental parts within the engine, including the valve train. We moved from Desmodronic to a spring valve system, which gives us incredible service intervals for the valve adjustment out to 36,000 miles. And we're very proud that we were able to do that with the technology that we've learned from producing Desmodronic engines. So the materials themselves, the coating that we use, have all been used in this motor. In addition, the velocity stacks are fixed to increase the mid-range. We've changed cam profiles and the crank. The engine cases are changed. There are many fundamental changes to the motor to do the job it was designed to do which was to be an awesome adventure bike. So that's what we're doing uh, with the motor. And you got a chance to ride it today. Right. And one of the things we really wanted to stress was the low speed handling and low RPM. 
we increased the torque from about 60 miles an hour to 90 miles an hour by 25% over the predecessor, Multistrada 1260. As far as uh, other chassis changes, are there anything else that really stands out with well, this machine? Absolutely. With the size of the motor, which is shorter, both in length and height, we're able to move the engine up in the chassis to give it more ground clearance, better mass centralization. And we were also able to reduce the overall wheelbase of the bike to create a better turning motorcycle. Yeah, and, and I mean, riding it today, you know, we'll get into that in a, in a little bit, but riding it today, it was an exhilarating experience. I don't think there's anything else like this on the market. This fills a really nice, sporty adventure, you know, hole in the market. And I think you guys have done a great job with this bike. And uh, thanks for, you know, walking us through some of that more technical uh, aspects of this. No problem, Ryan. Right it's on. great to have you. And it's an incredibly fun bike, so. Thanks, Richard. A lot of people don't maybe like to take the multi off road as much because it's it's an expensive motorcycle. You know, it's uh, starting kind of for the standard, which we're told a lot of dealers aren't ordering. So it might be kind of hard to find a standard model. Uh, the V4S is going to be the bigger seller. And then you've got the V4S uh, Sport. And that kind of ranges between like 20 grand to 26,000. So, you know, you can kind of pick and choose whatever uh, is important to you, but also Ducati gives you the option to fit the, the bike with cast aluminum wheels uh, or spoked tubeless uh, wheel setup. So if you're planning to take the bike off road, Ducati right now kind of has a lot of accessories that bring it closer to um, like what the Enduro model was for the 1260. You can kind of pick and choose and set this, uh, the V4 model up kind of in that same Enduro setting. If you do plan on doing a decent mix or if you just kind of have those aspirations or whatever it might be. So like I said before with the 1260, I think it was in 2018, this is really a Swiss army knife of a motorcycle. You can adjust so much with this. You can tailor the electronics, the power delivery, everything. It's, it's great. And it's really tractable off-road. It impressed me over the, when the last time I rode the 1260 off-road. It ergonomics wise, and it, it, it just didn't really feel great off-road uh, to me, but this new bike was really easy to ride slow, really easy to ride fast, surprisingly easy to ride in the sand. Uh, not, not a lot of deep sand, but a little bit of sand. Um, it really just did a great job. And I think that anyone that's looking for this motorcycle, the Ducati Multistrada is all, anything from Ducati, you know, has a lot of sporting heritage to it. And the Multistrada is no different. Uh, this, there is no other bike like the Ducati Multistrada. You can't just throw it into the, the swath of, 1200 cc and up uh, adventure bikes because this motorcycle is so much sportier than anything else out there and it does a surprisingly good job off-road so if you love you know really ripping through the canyons and you want the performance and you want the v4 engine which you'll want the v4 engine it's it's an amazing motorcycle that will still take you you know the multi-strata multiple roads you know whatever you're up for uh, within reason you can do it on the multi-strata before so yeah guys thanks for watching uh, if you like the video like comment subscribe and if you want the full details spec sheet full list out of all of the technical features of this, mo this motorcycle uh, head on over to motorcycle.com thanks